Well, it's been nearly a month since the House voted to impeach President Trump for a second time, and tomorrow the trial will get underway. Natalie Brand reports from Capitol Hill, where Senate leaders are close to an agreement on impeachment trial rules. Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says Senate leaders are close to finalizing an agreement that will establish the rules of the historic second impeachment trial of former President Trump. It's going to ensure a fair Senate impeachment allowing for truth and accountability. Sources tell CBS News trial arguments from House managers and Mr. Trump's legal team will begin Wednesday with both sides getting up to 16 hours each. At the House managers request, the Senate may debate and vote on whether to allow witnesses. The former president's counsel requested the trial proceedings end on Friday evening before the Jewish Sabbath and resume Sunday afternoon. Several Senate Republicans have argued an impeachment trial against a former president is not constitutional. Lawmakers are expected to debate and vote on that issue Tuesday. We've never impeached a president once they're out of office. I think this is a very bad idea. In a newly filed brief, the former president's legal team also makes that argument, saying the trial would be nothing more nor less than the trial of a private citizen by a legislative body. But Democrats and a number of legal scholars believe Congress does have the authority to move forward with the trial. I don't think our job ends just because the president has left office, in part because impeachment comes not only with a provision to remove an official from office, but to disqualify qualify them for future office. Mr. Trump's team also claims he was afforded no due process. House managers disagree, responding in their own brief, saying the former president rejected the opportunity to testify voluntarily under oath. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill. The White House press secretary told reporters today that President Biden won't spend too much time watching the proceedings. Up next on Valley News Live at 4, ranking last night's Super Bowl ads. Stay tuned.